You are listening to Comedy Club for Kids presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense. Hello. And welcome to the Radio Nonsense Podcast, the official comedy club for kids podcast that's suitable for all ages from shh to shh. Um, As you can tell, I'm being very, very quiet this week, as lots of you keep writing in and saying that you listen to this podcast before bed. And so I thought, you know... I tried to help out by making this uh, a sort of sleep tape episode that you can listen to, but then fall asleep before you've heard it all. And then you'll wake up and then you'll have to listen to it again. But then you'll fall asleep before you've heard it all. And then you'll wake up and then you'll have to listen to it again. And I mean, yeah, you get the idea. I had realised, you see, this podcast, if you're listening to it before bed, well, that's a problem because often it's quite noisy with, you know, goat noises or farting animals or me shouting to find out where Linda is. Oh, hang on a second. Linda! Linda! No, she probably probably can't hear me, to be fair. Hang on a second. Linda! Oh, sorry, everyone. That was quiet, quiet, sleepy tape. Yeah, that's it. That's it. OK, here we go. Here are some soothing things to say that I found online and I thought that maybe by me saying them on this podcast it's going to help you nod off to sleep. So, imagine you are floating on the big blue sea and it's so warm and floaty floaty waves and stuff like that floaty floaty water and now imagine you are slowly sinking but not like scary sinking, because that would be, oh, quite scary, especially when you think about what might be in the water. I mean, what if it's a shark? Oh, no, there's a shark, and it's going to bite your butt! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I imagine that. I imagine that a bit too too much there. Um, okay, let me, yeah, okay, let me try another one. Um, okay. Take a deep breath, and then another, and another. Oh, but breathe, breathe the last one out first no don't just keep breathing in you've got to breathe out you're inflating like a balloon stop taking deep breaths stop it quick someone get them down from the ceiling oh no they're floating out the window help someone help try try farting and see if you fly back (laughs) oh no sorry sorry i've done it again um okay um right let me try this one this is going to be relaxing i'm sure i'm sure it'll be relaxing you are in a beautiful field lying in soft grass with the sun on your face Focus on one spot and just really focus on that one spot. What can you see? What is there? What can you see? A horse? What's it doing? A big poo? Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Right, look, I give up. I don't really know how to help you sleep with this show, so... Oh, now you've nodded off, have you? Oh, I see. It's just me talking normally that works. Well, that is disappointing. I thought I had an energetic, exciting voice, actually. Right, hang on. Well, let me just listen back to a bit of previous episode and I'll see see if actually, you know, you're right. Because nothing really happens at night, so they can just see nothing happening really well. And actually, that's even more boring. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, gosh. Wow, I had no idea my voice could do that. I must be very careful. Well, for those of you still awake, thank you for your reviews and emails this week. And also your jokes. You've sent in loads of jokes. There have been some absolutely brilliant ones sent in, so let me share those with you right now. Um, the first is from Lua, who is, she says... 3,285 days old, which, if I do all my clever calculations, makes her 78,840 hours old, which is, of course, how the rest of us measure our age, isn't it? I mean, it's weird to do it in days like that, Lua, but fair play, you know, do what you want. So anyway, uh, Lua says, I have to read this joke like I'm a news reporter. So, um, here is my best news reporter voice. There is a dressing up party and you have to dress up as an animal. A man comes in with a lady strapped to his back saying, I am a snail, that is Michelle. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, brilliant, Lua. That is an absolutely superb joke. Um, and I think you are right, Lua. It is even funnier uh, as an important news story. Um, Lua has also kindly sent in a joke from her little brother, Asher. Um, I'm not sure if that's little as in he's very, very small, like sort of Lego figure sized, or if it means he's younger in days. It is very hard to tell. Um, Anyway, his joke, which I've not been instructed to read in any voice, so I'll just use this normal one. Um, That joke is, what do you call a dinosaur that never takes a bath? 
a Stinkosaurus. <laughs> that is excellent, Asher. I love it. Um, also, funnily enough, a Stinkosaurus is what I call my daughter when she's not had a bath in days because um, she just reeks. Anyway, um, if there had been a Stinkosaurus, can you imagine in the olden days? I reckon it would be completely safe from all the other dinosaurs. And who would want to eat that? They'd be all, rah, rah, I'm going to eat. Uh, what is... What is that smell like? Rotten eggs. Blech. They'd be totally safe. It'd be a brilliant skill to have as a dinosaur. Um, also, we have a joke from uh, Tenar, pronounced Tenar, um, who you might remember has written in before. Um, thanks for sending in more stuff, Tenar. Um, her joke is, knock, knock. Who's there? Knock. What? But I thought I knocked. What? Whoa. How does that work? Whoa. Uh, tonight, that is a bonkers joke. Is someone knocking on a reflection? How many doors are there? Do they all lead to each other? What is happening? Thank you so much. That is both a great joke and also it'll be confusing my brain for the rest of the 365 days. Um, if you have jokes that you'd like to send in or, of course, questions that need to be answered or perhaps soothing things that I can read to help listeners go to sleep, like maybe barnacles or something like that, I... I don't know if that would work. Um, then please ask your groaning, withy, groggy heads, sorry, grown ups, to help you email us at podcast at comedy club for kids.co.uk. Um, and as I mentioned every week, we're doing loads of live shows now as well, including, if you hear this on the day it goes out in half term in the UK, um, we've got shows this week in Woolwich, Harlow, Camberley, and Brighton. Um, so if you're in any of those places, get your groaning, withy, groggy heads, sorry, grown ups, to check out our website at comedy club for kids.co.uk. And come and see us do jokes live and you know, actually there in the real world. Um, Okay, right, let's try this again. Get really comfy. Close your eyes and wake up because it's time for the importantest bit of the show. I am so tired. This week on Radio Nonsense, I am joined by Bron and Sean from Comedy Sports, a.k.a. the Brontosaurus and Sean uh, Footedness, a.k.a. Bron, who always says boo to a swan, and Sean with his... Torn trouser knees. No, that doesn't quite rhyme. And salamander crisp. Oh, hang on. Let me. I've I've marked this up. I've read that all wrong. Hang on. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start again. No, let's try this again. It was uh, it was trouser knees always torn. That's why it rhymed. I got it wrong. Right. This week I'm joined by Bron and Sean from Comedy Sports, aka Brontosaurus and Sean Footedness, aka Bron who always says boo to a swan, and Sean with his trouser knees always torn, aka Salamander Crisp the Fourth and Clive Medium Trumpet. But of course, our listeners will mainly know you as the only two people ever to climb to the top of all the world's biggest mountains and then shout, "This view is rubbish! I'm going home! What a waste of time!" You are obviously the national champions of hurling teaspoons across ponds, and most famously, you are the inventors of the clock that tells you what time anyone in the world is having a boiled egg um and i just want to say it's a delight to have you on the show thank (laughs) Thank you you. i'm quite embarrassed that um we've been i'm outed in that manner i'm just very tired because those those hills and mountains are tall and disappointing very disappointing (laughs) there's no point it's such a shame but but what i what I admire about your record is that you were disappointed in the first one, but you kept, I mean, you've really, you've conquered all of them and found them all you, rubbish. You've got to hope at some one point. One of them's going to be good. Yeah, but no, no. We even took a photo, didn't we, with us yeah. to look at at the top of one of them. <laughs> what was the, what was was the, the photo, photo of? The monkeys, the, the band from the 60s. It was, oh, it was wow. yeah. that was better than The View. <laughs> yeah. yeah did you did you position the photo so it looked like they were say on another mountain and did you make it look like they were walking and that would have been a really good idea you know, if we'd have done that using? it might have felt worth it yeah i mean part of it was um it was the only photo we had with us yeah because i just carry a picture mm. of the monkeys with me all the time so yeah, yeah. We should have I think that's that's fair. That. I mean, I think you know that's one of the things that listeners, you know, that the kids listening to this will sort of think. If I was to climb up every single mountain, every hill, you know, what might I need to get there? And it and it turns out what you need is you need a picture in case the view is that's so it. rubbish that you can look at a, a better picture. I'd also like. want to stress that um, the kids listening should definitely check out the monkeys because it yeah, aged pretty yeah. well as a, as a kids show. I mean, also, I think uh, if the children listeners just haven't heard of the monkeys, they're not, they weren't mon- they weren't monkeys. They were people. They were a band called the Monkeys. But the fact they're called the Monkeys, even before you hear any of their music, which is great, <laughs> you should just like. Why wouldn't you want to listen to a band called the Monkeys? 
Absolutely. So I'm a bit obsessed with the monkeys. You are a bit obsessed with the monkeys. Yeah. Um, when we're climbing up the mountains, you're constantly singing yep. monkeys' songs. There's a song called Look Down. Mm. Which I didn't want to do because <laughs> I knew the view would mm. be, as we've established, very disappointing. Well, let's never yeah. do it again, yeah. all right? Let's just concentrate on our spoon hurling. Yeah. Because you're not very good at that. Did you? Can I ask? Did you walk up the mountain like? Because the monkeys used to do that brilliant walk where they all sort of step in the same direction at the same time. Yeah, because sometimes with their legs. Sometimes you do have to walk single file, but no one tells you if that means single file one in front of the other or side by side. Uh, Ah, yeah, of course. Which which was it? uh, Well, it was side by side, but then we kind of had to do it sideways. Sure, like a crab, like a, yeah, like a monkey crab hybrid. Yeah, <laughs> if you've not seen Sean do a, a monkey crab walk, you've not lived. He's doing it now. I know it is, it is amazing. It not is amazing. It is also somehow monkey like and crab like, but also like the band The Monkeys. <laughs> uh, I don't think there were a band called The Crabs, so I wouldn't be able to I tell you if. It looked like that, yeah. But it's, I mean, it's very, it's very impressive. And 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 again, going sideways, you're then getting the view before you've even got to the top. So you must have been disappointed the whole way, all the way. You yeah, constantly wow. think this, this must get better. This must get better. Yeah. And it, and, <laughs> and I think kids, you've just got to stay home, play video games. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah, that's the takeaway. That yeah. Yeah. How do you find the views in? Because sometimes there are some pretty great views in video games as well. I uh, have been playing a game called Death Stranding, which probably isn't great for kids. But I did specifically climb up a mountain because I could. And I found that a better view. (laughs) Amazing. And did the game allow you to take a... I I know of the game. I haven't played it myself. But did the game let you take a photo up with you just in case? uh, I was carrying a box of photos to deliver to... It's wow. not the most exciting sounding game when you talk about <laughs> it. It's basically, basically <laughs> Yodel the game. Uh, I, I'm i a big fan of, of the idea, you know, more games that are just very mundane tasks. Because there is that one that's like farming simulator and it's really popular, but you do just sort of sow seeds. And then I suppose you have to just pour, like sit around for six months until they grow. I don't know how it works. It sounds quite it dull. Is- and every now and then you have to shoo away a crow. It, or it's like the developers went, fetch quests are the most boring quests in a game. Let's build that and make that our entire personality. And I, and you're I, there for that. I really like it. I, I only play Pokemon Go. So the views in Pokemon Go are mostly uh, green space. It's basically <laughs> where we live. <laughs> yeah. But I could yeah. look up to see yeah, that, yeah. really. But then that's that's the thing with Pokemon Go is if you know, like if you are just sort of exploring the area you live, you could then take the photos you like and put them in yes. the background so the Pokemon appear in front of the yeah. monkeys, and then you've got like your ideal oh, game. What an amazing game! You always get like they always release you Pikachu catch them all pretty hat. quick. They always release a Pikachu a and fancy hat. hat. They should do a oh, Pikachu and a Mike Nesmith Nesmith hat. hat. I do fear that we are losing the audience a little bit with this talk about. <laughs> <laughs> 60 years ago. <laughs> um, History is very important because it doesn't stop happening. So, like, even yes, if, you, if, you're not, if you're not interested in history, then, like, how do you even know what happened yesterday? That was I'll tell you what happened same. yesterday. Yeah, it's important. I caught a Bulbasaur uh, and I was very happy with, with the Bulbasaur. That, I like that you said I caught a Bulbasaur and then a magic. I know. <laughs> That was my heart. I was, I was, I was so excited. Bulbasaur is my favourite Pokemon, so whenever I catch a Bulbasaur, I get a little bit excited. Pikachu's. I. Oh, sorry, I, sorry, Sean. I, I said Pikachu's my favourite. I. So basic, Sean. Yeah, but I only play it like my my <laughs> Pokemon collection on Pokemon Go is pretty much just Pokemon, and I only and play just Pikachu. It... You are, yes. Well, it's always, yeah, Pokemon. Uh, it's, it's all just Pikachu. And I only play it when Bron says there's a new one with a fancy hat and it's outside. <laughs> oh, but yeah, because it, like, why would, yeah, I, t- I totally get it. I I like Pikachu because I think in real life situations he'd be really handy. And that, like, if your car battery went flat, 
he could just sort of zap it and then it would you wouldn't have to link it up you know you wouldn't you wouldn't need a phone charger because you'd have pikachu like he'd be really handy he'd save you loads on your electricity bill he'd be really and because bulbasaur am i I'm I'm gonna. Uh, this is where I'm gonna lose this shit by uh, then realizing my Pokemon knowledge is is quite weak. Bulbasaur is Bulbasaur the one that does the no, water. No, that's Squirtle. And has the big oh, flower on its back. Oh, that's Squirtle. <laughs> no, I so, guess oh, I'm I can so see sorry, why you confuse the two, but no, that's Squirtle you're thinking of. So has Bulbasaur got the big flower? Yeah, well, in his evolution, he has a flower on his back. Yeah, I, Ivysaur then Venusaur. So. Right, and what does Bul- Bulbasaur just has a, bul- bulb. a bulb on his back? Yeah, a little not... bulb getting, you know, he's not evolved yet. So it's just little little waxy dinosaur, po- little Pokemon. He's just... But that would be very handy uh, in the spring, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. when you, you know, when you want to plant things. Just, yeah, has he only got the one? Like, if you took it off, would another well, one... I don't want to think about that. <laughs> No, no, it's very weird. I quite like the ones, I don't know what they're called. I like the ones that are just an, an egg with an angry <laughs> face. I'm a big fan Eggs of that. Cute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like. I just like that there's one that's an egg with an angry face. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it's called Eggs Cute as well. Like, there's some yeah, quite funny yeah. names. Uh, yeah, but then you like you read their backstories mm, and there's a lot that are genuine. Some really tragic, genuinely sad tragic and Pokemon backstories horrible oh. yeah there's one wow. that dresses wow. like pikachu uh and i think the backstory is that he's he's like killed Pikachu. oh he wanted to kill pikachu or something i can't remember it's really horrible but he like he's dressed like that's in a actually, that's actually that's really terrible. yeah oh there's some really horrid ones what's the, wow. the balloon one the lift um oh lift loon or something it's called and that uh, that's about Taking, uh, taking the spirit of a child away or something. It, honestly, there's a lot going on in Pokemon that there'll you be, may not know. Be... That is really deep. <laughs> wow. That is. Uh, it, let's. Uh, if you, if you could, be, if, if you got any uh, sort of ideas, what sort of Pokemon you'd be if you, if you could be one? Ooh, I'd probably be uh, a Leafeon, which is an EV evolution, evolution. Um, it's like. It's a grass, a grass EV evolution. It's just like it's, it's just really cute, and it's got like green. It, it's all about like nature, and yeah, I, I don't oh, know, Leafy. Oh, just... that's good. But you could get sort of. Would you easily get lost in a park? I mean, that just me generally, yes, very easily. Oh, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Well, then maybe that suits you. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> what about you, Sean? Any, any? Uh... I'd. What's that one that's always you... asleep? Drowsy. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, yeah. He's, you're the right shape as well. Thanks. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. Is there is there one that's basically because I I was trying to think what I'd be. Is there one that's basically a potato? Yeah, I, I uh, Chansey. There you go. Perfect. You'd be that's, Chansey. Yeah. <laughs> what are their what's what's their powers? Is um, it sort of what is it about around? a Chansey? They're they're quite hard to battle. Um. Oh. They're quite solid. Maybe you could be a Jigglypuff. They like to. Um, <laughs> they like to sing. That's the one that yeah. sings, isn't and it? Then, yeah. And then draw yeah. their faces with yeah. a marker pen. That's their power. I think the difference between me and a Jigglypuff is, is from what I know. Jigglypuff singing makes people go to sleep, whereas <laughs> mine would make them just feel a bit sick and probably <laughs> wretch, and maybe maybe leave the room. And I don't know. I think if you that's need to prove that some sort of weird Can evolution. You give us an example? Yeah, no, no, no. The, the problem is this is an audio podcast, which we'll get to in a minute. <laughs> we'll actually, start in a minute. If I sing on it, if I sing on it, I don't want children all around the world suddenly just go, eh, eh, you know, I don't want to cause, you know, it could be sort of a, a, an it's epidemic terrible. of why are all these children retching? And it's because I've sung on this podcast yet again. You can't back and, away you know, from your power, got, uh, you know, it brings great mm. responsibilities. Well, that's it, but I've got to only use it for good. So I don't want to... I really like the listeners to this show. I don't want to <laughs> use it for them. I'd prefer to use it if somebody's a bit rude to me. I'll just start singing a little ditty. Sean, then, be, be rude. Be rude you know. to him. No, I'm not going to be rude. Uh, I want to I wanna see if it works. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. I also wouldn't have wanted to... You, you guys have given up your time in between climbing mountains, in between the, the amazing egg clock, which we haven't talked about, but, you know, to be here, I don't want to make you... Okay. Rip, so... 
Thank you. And um, how, how are you? Apart from all your your activities, are you well? And obviously, apart from your Pokemon <laughs> Pokemon hunting and your mountain, you're very busy. But you're well. I'm there. day eight COVID positive. <laughs> you, oh, it's yeah, I'm very positive, positive about yeah. uh, about the whole thing. Sean is now four days negative, so yeah. you know, hoping to reinfect him at some point in the next Please don't. few days. Please <laughs> sure. don't. One of us still has to be able to go to shows. <laughs> Is, did you both lose your taste and smell? I have, you haven't. I, 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 I just had a very mild cold. Yeah, I... No, I've, I've had lost worse man flu. Well. I, 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 so, so, I'm just about, I think, getting a bit of taste back. I can't decide. It's like, is it my brain just filling in the gaps or am I actually tasting something now? I don't know. See, my question is because I, 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 uh, I don't know if I, I have, I've never lost my sense of smell and taste before, which kind of scares me. But like, can you, do you reckon you could just eat anything because you wouldn't care what the taste is now? Could you just go around just like eating some dirt, eating some, I don't know, like, is there something you really don't like, but you're like, I could eat it now because I won't be able to You'd taste actually it. say that, didn't I? I was going to try, because I don't like tomatoes or peppers. Or aubergine. Or aubergine or courgette. I have quite a long list, actually. I'm, I'm vegan as well, so wow. these are the worst things to not like. But um, there was a bit of me going, oh, I could just try all those things. But the thing is, some of it's texture. Like, aubergines are like rubbery weirdness. Yeah. So I wouldn't like it even if I couldn't taste it, I think. You could freeze an aubergine and then eat it like a lolly, and you wouldn't be able to taste yeah. it and the texture would be different. Uh, I'm just saying, there's a whole world of possibility you here. You can also freeze ice cream and keep ice cream in your freezer. That's true. I'd, and I, I'd, I'd want space for I'd that. I'd rather do that. Really. But... Yeah, but then then you wouldn't be able to taste the ice cream so it'd feel like a waste of ice like a waste of ice cream, whereas you, you'd not be able to taste the aubergine would feel like, well... <laughs> well no, I could dunk no, it right. into unless, ice unless cream. Unless we do it like Ben and Jerry's, because the, uh, mm. the... What is it, Ben or Jerry? I can't remember which one it one was. One of them can't taste. And that's why they, what? yeah, that's yeah. why they have all the stuff in it, uh, because um, because he doesn't have a great sense of taste, but he has a good sense of mouth feel. Mouth feel that, is that, that That's the phrase they use mouth in the documentary. Feel. Is it? Um, so that's why it's got like chunky bits in it because it was more about texture. The, the texture than the uh, mouth. That's amazing. And couldn't that have gone so horribly <laughs> wrong if uh, he was just like, yeah, let's put stones in it, <laughs> or let's. They do. Uh, I can't taste anything. It's put it's hair in road, it. Isn't it. Yeah, they they do have a little graveyard for all of the flavors that have come and gone as well. Like, With like, one of the stones. Wow. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a mad company. Yeah. Other ice cream is available. Amazing. Mouth feel. <laughs> I like I like the idea that someone who who can't taste things has released. <laughs> Very tasty there were two things. of them. And the other one of... could taste. Yeah. So, you know, it, it worked out. Teamwork and all that. But then that's tricky because he's got to, like, the one that can't taste, like, let's do this. And the other one that can taste has to taste it. But there must have been some horrible moments. Like, oh, no, it's just, that's like sucks. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you've ruined my day. And, you know, like, he's got quite a hard job to have to always taste what the non taste guy comes up with. I love with. the logic that there was a day when one of them said that tastes like socks. Yeah. <laughs> what have you put in this? I'll be the sock. <laughs> How yeah. do you feel? Why, why not? <laughs> With your mouth. In your mouth feel. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, well, it's like that um, that chef um, Hest Blumenthal. Heston Blumenthal. Yeah. And who always looks a bit like the egg poker yeah, with like the face cute. on an egg. And he... Yeah, and he does like um he makes like uh like a bacon and egg ice cream or f f snail foam or all these things that you just normally you'd expect to read like a witch had made in a children's <laughs> book, but he makes it and then people spend uh, loads of money on it in a restaurant. Cool. And Did you say yeah, snail it foam must be quite cool though. Yeah, I might have made that up, but it's like he looks at a Roald Dahl book and goes, "Oh, this is a recipe." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, but but then people still tr try it. Like, there's always. Have you ever had those jelly beans that where some of them taste really disgusting and some I of them have taste not, yeah. because because apparently they taste disgusting. So why would you ever? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. I, 
I'll just stick with the licorice ones, which I I'm under the impression a lot of people also find disgusting, but they're my favourite one. I have had those jelly beans, but I wasn't aware that that's. Oh really? I, Someone so, so here's some jelly beans. I went. Oh, oh what horrid friends! Yeah, mean. It's like something off. What what did it taste? Did you have a horrible taste? Uh, yeah, it tastes it, like socks. It did. Yeah, basically, it tasted it tasted like feet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and then you were like, "That's horrible." Didn't know I like this. It it was it was the it. I had the reaction to that jelly bean that I imagine people might have to you singing. Oh. Yes, yes, it's very, yeah, I've heard it's very similar. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Is it, My daughter's got some pens that all have different oh, yeah? smells. And one of them smells like uh, cherry and it's like, mm. and then there's another one that smells, I think it's meant to be onion. And I quite Ooh. like onions, but this smells, I think, like the worst thing I've ever smelled in my, it smells like everything you've ever hated is rotting <gasps> on top of each other <gasps> in a pile and, and then a cat's pooed on it. So it's like, it's really like, uh, like you smell it in the back of your throat, it's like, eh. and then she colours in things with it, and then gives you a picture, and you go, ah, no, this what? is the hot, worst picture. And then ask you to put it on the fridge near food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have some scented pens. I'm I'm big into colouring and and felt tips and colour and stuff, and I have some scented pens. I've never had scented pens that smell bad. Like, why would you ever? Why would those exist? You wouldn't want to use them. That doesn't make well, they've gone sense. off, yeah, yeah, because that guy from Ben and Jerry's who just tastes, tastes things tastes probably made them. Ends in his mouth. This is his side project. <laughs> That's it. He just makes horrible pens. Well, yeah, uh, is it? Is it definitely wow. supposed to smell bad? Because I'm wondering if it has just gone off. You're supposed to keep these pens in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually just an onion? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just using an onion. Whoa! <laughs> She's just got a squishy oh. old onion and is smashing it against the paper. <laughs> Hey, I mean, she's nearly four and four-year-olds are disgusting. <laughs> it's very possible that that is what she's doing. I should just check. I'm slightly worried about the other, some of them, the other smells, one of them is, is bleach and one of them is old socks. No. So she's just got some bleach and old socks. That's Why really that worrying. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Where did you buy that? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you left negative <laughs> feedback. <laughs> It is a reputable um, pen slash crayon uh, manufacturer that I shan't shame on here, but they make them and they are disgusting. But then you smell the cherry one and it it's all fine. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the whole point. It's it's, it's a... like you've, you've got to suffer the other ones to really enjoy the, the cherry one. <laughs> it's a life yeah. lesson. When life <laughs> gives you socks and onions, make cherries. <laughs> Oh no! But then you have cherries that taste of socks and onions. Yeah. This is wow. Well, I feel like for listeners hearing this, the lesson to learn is that if you want to enjoy something, you have to go and smell an old onion first, <laughs> yeah. and then you'd really enjoy it. Want to hear our cat? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. I didn't expect it to make that noise. Uh, that was a great noise. What's your? This one's cat called, called Prudence. We have three. Uh, Prudence is the youngest. Yeah. We've got Albert and we've got Enid as well. But Enid is Excellent. not here. Albert is sat here, but you can't see him. Obviously, I can just see. I can just see on the, just in between the two of you. Yeah. But Prudence is the really needy one, and that's why she's now sat on my knee, and that's why she's been quiet because she's got what she wanted, and she's sat on my knee. I like it. That is solid <laughs> cat work. I like that. You're recording a podcast. I'm going to make noise until you give me yeah. what I want. That is. They know what we do doing. a lot of our uh, we do online we're still doing online comedy sports shows as well for people who can't get to our in person ones for whatever reason and she is quite a feature of a lot of those shows she does tend to rock up and uh, be part of it don't you how are cats are improvising she's uh, find it to be very blocky she won't uh, she won't mm. accept the situation very well she likes it to all be about her. And uh, obviously improvisation is very teamwork based, very selfish. She actually took part. We, we did a we play a game called role play, which is about rolling a dice. And then you have to um, uh, change the, the way that you're performing relating to the number on the dice. So one would be quite so like, placid. Yeah. So in a role playing game, it would be. Yeah. The character's going to do something and then you go roll for how well this is going to go for me. 
and then if it's a one, it's not going to go very well. And if it's a ten, it's going to go great. And yeah, she Prince... decided that uh, all that dice looks really fun, and basically battered it out of the way and took it into the living room. So <laughs> that was the end of the game. Wow. <laughs> And then did, did things go really badly for you or really, really uh, well? it, the, the things just remained the same because we couldn't change it. <laughs> then that was the end. Wow. <laughs> I sort of want cats to be in charge of more things if they can just keep them the same <laughs> rather than get worse or better. That'd be uh, that'd be fantastic. Wow. Well, I was going to ask you because one of the things that, that I have to ask you, you know, um, is this is an audio podcast. I'm not sure if you're aware. It's a lot of our listeners hear it with their ears. Some might listen to it with their bums mm-hmm. or their knees. I don't you know, I don't we don't discriminate yeah. however they want to listen to it. That's fine. Um, but because it's audio, one thing I was going to ask you was if you had any favorite noises you could share. And I didn't know if Prudence, you pick up Prudence that made such an excellent noise. I didn't know if that was one of them. I see if she doesn't meow on cue. It's, no, she's got a very annoying meow. It's, it's the, the most squeakiest. Kind of... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pathetic. Well, I've got. I quite like the noise of a of um, a dolphin, which I could do for you now if you if you if you want. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Right, as yeah. I say, I can. I've not tried it while I've been ill, but here we go. <laughs> I could also do quite a good That's peacock. Amazing. And I think that's it. And that's my repertoire. How about you, Sean? Uh, my favourite noise is the opening of a packet of biscuits, which okay. I can't. C- can you try? It. You can't oh. do it, no? <laughs> oh, no, I've sat on them. <laughs> oh, I've sat on the biscuits. You're breaking your arm as you yeah. try to open them. Those are very good. I mean, I, I think un- uncanny dolphin and, and peacock noises, those are incredible, but also... Um, yeah, I, I think that's very biscuit packet opening. <laughs> I think were you to do that in a were you, were you to do that, you know, if you if you hid somewhere and made that noise, people would just instantly think well, the biscuits, biscuits are, here. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, no, biscuits. No, I want biscuits as well. That is that is really uncanny. I don't know how you made that uh, noise. That, was, that, is, that took that a lot of incredible. practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are so good at, you know really working hard to to well normally be disappointed in things but that that was that was very successful um right well well thank you for that those were both well all three of them were amazing <laughs> noises um the other thing i have to ask you is that you know this is a family friendly podcast it's suitable for people of all ages that you could possibly uh, imagine could you could you imagine an age sean yep i also yeah, can. yeah, yeah. that one as well so yeah it's suitable for that one bron can you imagine you've imagined I've got one, one yeah as well? yeah yeah, great. So it's suitable. It's, I'll just say it's suitable for yeah, all ages I've, I've got, that you can possibly I've imagine. So you've imagined I can imagine them... two. Is that okay? Two different ones. They're different. Uh, I mean, it depends on what they what they are. What are they? Well, one is age five, and the other is age twenty three. Are they? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, those are fine. Those are absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, generally, it's all ages. Every now and then, I'm not sure if it's suitable for 101 right. year olds, but this is a long. It's an ongoing thing. It sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It depends on how the rest of this sort of pans out. But generally, it's suitable for everyone. And so I just want to check that you know if there are any rude words you won't be saying during this show to make sure that it's. Uh, I will not be saying pants today. Uh, I won't be mm-hmm. saying um, underwear or bum. Is that okay? Wow! We, we wow! Wow! Yeah, and uh, but. I know that, and I'm really pleased you won't be saying pants, underwear, or bum. I definitely won't say those either. Highly rude, but also that is a whole sort of now we we that's a whole like your sort of bum and bum coverings out of like we can't discuss it's very much an, an area, which is wasn't it? That we <laughs> I'm slightly concerned that that's where we went. We could go back to talk about mouth feel. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> well no i think i think it's good let's know let no i think i think uh, you know everyone listening knows that bum is is really you know is a highly rude very no rude. should ever really say pants awful it, it's banned in billions of countries absolutely billions and so I mean, it's like a gateway well. isn't it once underwear, you say bum you might as well say underwear you might as well say pants and then you're gonna say bum well that's it so, but there are there are ways to get around because if you were to say like underwear, Ugh. but if you would say underwear, uh, as though it was a question, then it's blabber. then it's uh, okay, I think. And what if yeah. you had yeah. a friend who's um, who's an aunt, and then their their name is Peter, and you want to say their name really fast, and so you say Peter Ants, and then you accidentally say Pants, 
you get away with it yeah. that way, can't you? Yeah, can, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get away with it by just wearing my underwear over my trousers. Yes. Then it becomes yes. overwear. Yeah. That's very clever. That's really smart. And that's because that's how Superman, when all those superheroes sort of get away with it, isn't it? Because they would be rude if they wore their pants, which I didn't say, under their clothes. But then by wearing them over their clothes, it's not rude. It's the fact that you're wearing them over your trousers and on your head, though. That's that's the strange bit. Yeah, and it's the same pair. (laughs) Yeah, it's very impressive. Very stretchy. I just want, you know... Did it not hurt your neck? It's a good workout for my neck muscles and my posture. Because mm. I've, I've been playing a lot of video games and eating biscuits for the last two years. And, <laughs> and I think just something two that kind years? of... Uh, 35 years. Uh, but just something that, you know, just makes me have to kind of sit up straight, I think is, is good. That's yeah. good. And does it also, doesn't it stop them being... Uh, you know, pants or underwear. If they're on your head, then because then they're a hat, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They they are, yeah. ha- and you know, you can kind of then just kind of like just just tuck a pencil up there. <laughs> Which in the hat yeah. bit? In the hat bit. So you don't want to put them in. No, the... no, in the hat <laughs> bit. So then, like, you've always got a, a pencil. That's but... great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, not in the not in. No, the you don't want to do that. You'd have one of those smelly pens. Uh, then you'd have a pen that smells of bum to go. Out. Wait, no. <laughs> let's is, go back yeah. to that. <laughs> yeah, going back <laughs> to, to those to smell the tips. Pens, <laughs> uh, I think we we have literally got to the bottom of it. Hey. Oh no. Well, well. Thank you, thank you so much for not saying bum uh, pants or underwear. I really appreciate that. And it's good to know this podcast stays safe for all possible ages. Maybe not 100 more minutes. It's difficult to say. Um, Well, look, listen, the reason I've got you two two here, and and thank you again for for, for being able to do it, is that we've been sent in questions that I think you two are probably the most qualified people I I, I could get to answer these. And I think the the question answer askers are going to be very excited uh, that, that that we've got you to ask um to answer these questions. So look, do you would you like me to I can either um we could do the questions one by one sort of old school that's how you know the classic way I could read them all at once as quickly as possible or I could just sort of do a series of noises and you could try and interpret <laughs> them. What would you what would you I like? I think one and three. Yeah. I don't think any of those are mutually exclusive. <laughs> Oh sure, okay. Well, should we start? We'll start with noises, and if you can't quite get them from the gist okay. of my noises, I'll then read right. them out to you. That sounds one like a one. Okay, idea. so yeah, so. Oh wow! Uh, the uh, the last bit sounded like a pig. I wouldn't recommend it. I think would mm. be my answer to that. Yeah, yeah. I worry. I think I might have done some of that slightly wrong because, it, yeah, it's not. There's oh. no pigs in these. Shall I, look, do you know, I'll go for the old, I think for the sake of the listeners, they're not as good at translating noises anyway. I, and, uh, you know, I'm, I just, again, I want to be able to reach out to everyone that, that might be a noise listener rather than uh. for words. So question one, we'll go for question one first. That's normally the, the way that you do it. Um, This is a question from CC Glide from the United Ooh. States. Question mark, upside down, question mark, question mark, question mark, exclamation mark, semicolon, colon, exclamation mark, dollar sign, uh, open brackets, close brackets, uh, semicolon, exclamation mark, semicolon, exclamation mark, full stop, close brackets, uh, semicolon, comma, question mark. Is, quite is lame, that the question? That, but, um, is it- yeah. That's, that's not the, the question. Name. And also, I can't work out if that's the name because it's CC Glide from the United States and then all of those bits. So is that that might be where in the States they live. Right. They might live. Maybe that's the name Wyoming. of the place. I'm not that. Yeah. It's all very. Why, Oman? Amazing. Because well, yeah. that's a question, isn't it? Maybe so, there is a place it called, called, called yeah. Zyzex, which is. is spelled Z Y Z X. That's it. It's yeah. just those four letters, isn't it? Hey, it's that wow. in Washington, in, is it? No, 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 Nevada. And it was built by this, pl- this bloke who was basically a con artist. And he wanted to be uh, open like a health spa that was all a bit of a, a calm. And he wanted to literally say, come to Zyzex, the last word in health, because it was going to wow. be the last word in the dictionary. That's clever. It also sounds a bit like something a noise you'd make if you were <laughs> coughing a lot. Like, <coughs> like There's a sort of, yeah. 
It's quite good. And just uh, hang on, I was going to ask yes. you CC this question, but just out of interest, um, Wyoming. Because I'm I'm curious about that. Now that you, you can it never up, ever answer that question. It's it's an age old question. Why Oming? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I tell you what, though. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a big place. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's the Wyoming. Yeah. It's a big place. That's maybe sure that's the t-shirts. That might be the state. Yeah. The state motto when you come in. <laughs> Wyoming. It's a big place. <laughs> it could be. We have yeah. been, we? but it's not. <laughs> if they don't put the question mark at the end of Wyoming, it's, it's sort of because Wyoming it's a big place, great, but Wyoming, where well, it's a big like, that feels more like a setup. And punch, say yeah, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Wisconsin is this Wisconsin? <laughs> that's the <laughs> Wisconsin. This Wisconsin. That sort of works. That works better. Yeah, yeah. Wyoming needs to get on. Needs to become Wisoming. This Omi, yeah. Well, uh, anyway, right, right, well, well, so we've gone on a tangent here. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Was, 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 Washington, Washington, yeah. <laughs> if we don't cut it off now, yeah. and we've only done the W states, right. so let's move on. But that's also true. That is also true. So um, there isn't a Howington, that's why. But anyway, so look, look. With, here's the question from CC Glide, and 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 they want to know why don't chickens fly? Ah. Can you tell me? Uh, they've got very small wings. They're dinosaurs, aren't they? They're baby dinosaurs. They're baby dinosaurs. And dinosaurs, um, I always think of them like little mini T-Rexes. If you think about a T-Rex and their tiny little arms, that's like a chicken. So if you were to, um, and don't because it's mean, but if you were to take all the feathers off chickens' arms, they look like little t rex arms. So that's why they can't fly, because T-Rexes couldn't fly. And it would be unfair to allow a small animal that looks like a T-Rex mm. to fly if the actual T-Rex couldn't fly. So um, it's about fairness, really. Also, um, you know, they've been crossing roads for years now. <laughs> um, they, they've, and then they learned to drive. They yes. just got complacent. Yeah, it's been very... Yeah. They could have. They could have worked. That's out. a really good point. I mean, <clears throat> firstly, I'd like to say that if T Rexes could fly, that would have been, I think, quite terrifying for everyone. So I'm really pleased they they couldn't. That I think. Yeah, I mean, a flying T Rex sounds very, very common, scary. So. Who knows what's yes, going to happen in yes. the next Jurassic World movie? <laughs> chickens. That's massive true. That chickens. Very true. Yeah, a flying T Rex. Yeah, massive. Yeah, well, that would be. Wouldn't that be a, a Jurassic Park film, a Jurassic World film with with chickens in it? I I think people are demanding to see that where they've they've got chickens behind giant electric fences and oh no, one's got out <laughs> and and and, and, and it's, Jeff Goldblum. It's as long as Jeff Goldblum's there, like just stopping traffic while oh, yeah. they're trying to get the chicken out of the road. Yeah, you know, this this is how it starts with the the car and the car, and then it's the cooking. Bacar. and the, <laughs> you mean like, Bacar, Bacar. Bacar. oh right <laughs> yeah 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 We're, but that is also what a chicken you were talking about earlier about if chickens could drive i think they would they would drive a bacar <laughs> i think that would be their the brand car. wouldn't it Bacar. or a small car <laughs> yeah <laughs> small car. <laughs> it's, yeah it's i i'm do you think chickens like chickens flying seems a bit chaotic <laughs> to me like i think because like, they, they lay eggs and you wouldn't really want an egg dropped on you from That's a great height. Um, they can fly a little bit. They just can't take flight. If, if there's they, a definition they... difference there, like they can jump, they can jump into the air and flap about a bit. They just can't go anywhere, really. And, you know, is that not a metaphor for life? <laughs> <laughs> and then an egg splats on your head. <laughs> an egg splats on your head. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, it's just yeah. Uh, boiled an egg. Speaking of, uh... oh, nice, nice. Yes, I forgot about. Yeah, which again, that would make your. Oh no, I suppose it would make much difference to your clocks. It's, your clocks about boiling eggs, and and these chickens would just be sort of dropping eggs. But I think people would be, they wouldn't be able to boil as many eggs if all these chicken eggs were falling from the sky and splatting. Really? It'd be quite hard to boil a splattered egg. <laughs> I'd give it a go. That's 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 poached, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. Yes, that is poached. Yes, that is true. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. We'd well, have to. You'd probably need a different clock for that, though. True. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the mechanics. I don't want. Yeah, to we're not. We're not giving away our pattern. So. 
no, no, that's I thought you would. I wouldn't have asked you to. You know, it's there are rules yeah. with these sorts of things. Um, that's quite straightforward with why don't chickens fly. It's I just find it very bizarre that they're little dinosaurs. I, I wonder if they um they ever feel a bit disappointed that that's all all they got. Oh. You know, T Rex is huge, destroying everything. Chickens run around a bit, you know, lay be, an egg. Be polite. Don't bring it up. Let them live. Have, <laughs> let them enjoy scratching around. Have a little peck. I I think we've got to just stop. You know, you've and and I think the kids need to to hear this. Like, just because there's big T Rexes out there, and yeah, they get all the attention, but chickens are still valuable too, and they're yeah. still the little like, guy. yeah. Don't judge mm. your own successes by others, and you know they're happy. You know they can they can jump, they can clump, they can cross roads. Yeah, yeah, which is the key thing, isn't it? That is the absolute. Because I don't think T Rexes would have been able to cross roads. No, and no one's seen them do it, have well. they? So let's assume that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There's, I mean, we still, we still to this day don't really. I mean, I know this wasn't the question that was asked, but we still don't really know why the chickens cross the roads, do. But it's I'm, I'm guessing what, what you're saying is it's just necessity. It's to to yeah, 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 there was. So that's a definitive answer. Um, basically, no. So the same reason. Yeah, yeah, to get to the other side. There's probably yeah. too many. Cars parked on that side I'd of the like, road. Why you going for complicating it? It's, oh, there's... it's been answered. Yeah. There's been research. It's definitively answered <laughs> as to get to the other side. Yeah, well, and is it? And it's I suppose it's a bit like the thing of which came first, the chicken or the egg? Did chickens cross the road because they couldn't fly, or do they not fly because they can cross oh, the road? Different which question. Is, which do you think was first? Uh, I feel like we wouldn't have time to really get to the crux of that. Hmm. My theory would be uh, they crossed the road uh, because they couldn't fly, like you suggested, uh, but without running some sort of test and uh, case study. We, we, we're never fully going to know the answer to that. And once you've learned you can just walk across a road, you know, flapping your arms is quite tiring, you know, to maintain you. flight. So once you've learned there's a simpler way to do it, why go back? Yeah. Yes, that is true, isn't it? I've never... I, I don't know if either of you two have. I've never tried to cross the road by flapping my arms. I mean, I have, but... I can but imagine it's quite exhausting. I wouldn't do it again. No, I mean, it's a good way to make them... It panics a lot of drivers, yeah, I find. It's... They 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 get distressed. Yeah. So, best to just walk. Wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. recommend it. Yeah. It's a... No, and I guess any chickens near you would just feel like exactly. you're Exactly, you don't yeah, want to offend. Worth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, that was, we, we went in quite a deep dive there. Very, thank you for that. That is, I hope uh, CC Glide, uh, millions of question marks and brackets is very happy uh with that answer i'm certainly very happy i feel like i've learned quite a lot um so we'll move on to the next one and this is i think it's another complex one the, you know this is from banjo aged 11 again as i often say on the show we don't know aged 11 what i assume it's years could be minutes could be seconds could be months could be um 11 weasels we don't you know i don't know they haven't specified but could, could be 11 eggs 11 and, boiled eggs which about... oh my goodness Whatever eleven times three is. <laughs> three. <Yeah>. three. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an easy one. <laughs> yeah, and thirty-three is a great number because if you push it on its side, it looks like two oh, buns. Oh, wait, sorry, no, I'm not no, saying. No, but no, I chose to say buns, but if I was going to say well, buns, actually, I would say it looks bum. like two buns. Are we allowed yeah. to say bums, plural? Uh, yes, okay, that's, that's right. That's right. Yes, it's more than one. That's why. Whereas we couldn't say three on its side, but a third on its side is yeah. bums, and therefore yeah, it's is, is perfectly clear. fine for the show. That's yes, that's correct. So this is from Banjo, which is an amazing nice. name. Um, and yeah, absolutely brilliant. And Banjo has asked, "What if water was dry?" Oof. Well, I guess uh, we'd be have to... very disappointed when you needed a drink. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> It, my my mind suggests we would have to find an alternative. So, mm. <laughs> so if water was dry, which it can be if you boil it, it becomes a gas. Yeah. In which case, you'll need to then make the gas back into wetness. We mm -hmm. just couldn't call it water. This is hurting my head. Yeah. Because without wow. water, wow. what? There's no life, is there? So if without wet is what we're actually talking about wet 
without wet. Well, you wouldn't have the band Wet, Wet, Wet. That's true. It would be called... Dry, Dry, Dry. dry. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I think, like, diving into swimming pools would be terrifying. Yeah. Very painful. Uh, I mean, we live in Manchester, so the weather would be nice. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, you say that, but what if it rained, but the rain it's wasn't just dry? What if, it was, what if it was just little pellets, like oh firing my at you? That would be terrifying. I can't. This this actually hurts to think. Wait, so it's not wet. What if it? What if it's? it's wait, what was the question again? <laughs> yeah. What? It says. Is it, so it's what if water? Oh was right, dry. okay. I was gonna say what if? Yeah. What if water was solid? But it's not. So if it was ice. dry, would it technically be a gas? Could we still get fluid <laughs> from inhaling dry water? Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's too much! Wow, that would be that would be amazing, wouldn't it? And and the sea would just be like a sort of fog, <laughs> so you could just sort of like you know, if there was a strong wind, the whole sea could just so blow we could away. potentially walk from here to Ireland if we wanted to. But yeah, you could walk from here to anywhere. All those chickens would be on holiday. What? We've can, run out of fluid in I our bodies. I can find that pair of glasses I lost. In the sea? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> How did you lose a pair of glasses in the sea? I, I was on a kayak and I took them off briefly and then I forgot I was on a kayak and I may have knocked them into the into the sea. And wow. now the cat's joining in. Yeah, the cat is rocking It's beautiful me. singing. It's lovely. But it made your story, you were, you were telling us this story about the sea and, and lost glasses and the, and the cat accompanied you with a sea shanty. <laughs> yeah. It was lovely. It was really, it made, it was very atmospheric. And I like the thought that out there now is a, a shark or a fish that suddenly got amazing vision that they, they didn't have oh, before. Oh yeah, it's um, uh, probably a, a small dogfish. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mm. probably now, you know, reading a book that had been dropped in the ocean that previously, yeah. you know, just been uh, unintelligible to it. So uh, you've done a great service. Yeah, I, you know, accidental, you know, a butterfly flaps its wings. Now, and now tell them about the pair fish. that you lost in a bin. Oh, <laughs> 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 I uh, it's not as exciting. I might have given away the end. <laughs> I had a pair of glasses, <laughs> and I had them in a glasses case that was in my hand. And I also had some rubbish that I picked up because you shouldn't leave litter behind. And they may have been the same hand, <laughs> and then they went into the bin. Uh, and I was I was wearing yeah. sunglasses at the time, so it wasn't like I was immediately sunglasses like, worth oh, I stating. can't see. Hmm. Yeah. And then I realised I... Later in the day, no glasses. We were on holiday at the time, and that meant uh, a good portion of the holiday was spent wearing prescription sunglasses, including yeah. the evening. Well... <clears throat> I mean, I, I think this is amazing, but but again, I feel, you know, what what likes to rummage in bins, foxes, depends on where you're on holiday, raccoons. You may well have given a, the gift of eyesight or better vision to so it would have been a, um, a seagull, one of those It would have been a seagull. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. There you go. And now it can really spot people's chips. <laughs> oh, yeah. And steal um, them. Like you, you, you aren't safe to eat chips on Brighton Beach now because... No. No. Uh, they, well, they can see them. Or if the chips have gone cold, they can use the they can hold the glasses in the sun and you like the use the refraction of the sun's rays to reheat the chips. That's amazing. <laughs> They're very clever birds. I mean, I, bringing it back to the question though, if water was dry, seagulls would have just a be... very <laughs> difficult time. Yeah, just be gulls. Yeah. I actually can't yeah. really get my head around the concept of water being dry. <laughs> Like all water, that that's the definition of all. It, I can't. It hurt. It actually hurts my head because. I mean, I think it's, it's we, you've just got to you've got to because this is banjo asking. You know what if? So we, we've just got to decide. I suppose amongst us, if water was dry, would it be like blocks of? Would it just be in blocks, or would it be as you say, steam? It's sort of dry because steam can sometimes be kind of wet. It's sometimes it's so you know. 
So if if like it's blocks and you turn on the tap and just thunk, think there's a block of water. I. Or is it you turn on the tap and I see a whole room is so full we of went to Las Vegas a few years ago, didn't we? And we managed yeah. to go on the hottest day they'd ever had in a June. My month shoes melted. Ever. Sean's shoes melted as soon as you got out of the car. Wow. But as soon as you opened your eyes, it was like all the moisture out of your eyes just went into the atmosphere. So that's how I'm picturing it is water, but it's just gone. Like it's it's there, but you can't see it anymore. And it hurts. <laughs> I think Banjo would definitely yeah. have problems making a cup of tea. That's true. They'd yeah. have to find an alternative yeah. liquid. Yeah. Yeah, that's true because well, or or is just all or oh, eat the tea bag is what? But most liquid well, also, is water. But if if you're you know when you <coughs> wee, you're mostly getting rid of excess water. Oh, no. If water was dry, would you only need to poo? Oh, no. Wait, aren't we all like seventy percent water? Yeah, there's too many yeah, variables yeah. of this question that are disturbing to consider. <laughs> there a third yeah, question. Yeah. There isn't a third question. No, that's the last. I mean, you can add a that third. I was thinking you just mentioned Las Vegas. You could Las Vegas. <laughs> that could that could be a third question. <laughs> Las Vegas. This Vegas. <laughs> they, it's it's almost there. Um, but but I well, I just you know from what you're saying, I th- I feel like you're answering Banjo's question in that you know Banjo's asked what if water was dry, and you're saying it would yeah, be terribly it would be, horrible. It would be uh, yeah, that's awful. a better way to look at it. What is the visceral emotive response to what if water is dry yeah and it is <laughs> yeah sorry it's not funny it would just be <laughs> horrific. horrific yeah and and you know we haven't even mentioned fish oh, poor, poor, poor fish, fish. Poor we'll fish. just have a terrible time um all of the monsters yeah. at the bottom of the deep sea trenches mm-hmm. would have no choice but to come up to the surface <laughs> and wreak havoc yeah. in our cities yeah. and major metropolitan areas yeah um yeah yeah there's I, I i think of can you think of any plus points because i i can think of one only one really which is that my daughter can like whenever it's bath time and she gets water in her eyes when i'm like trying to wash her hair she goes eh, don't like washing my eyes and if it was dry then we could just have bath i mean bath time in itself would be difficult because i don't know how you'd bath in a well, block of water wash. that's obviously that's complicated not. but at least she wouldn't moan about getting you'd it dry in shampoo eyes. For the in- entire washing experience. You know what that is? Yeah. You know what that is. You look really confused. I don't I don't try shampoo, <laughs> is it? I have wash. Yeah, it's like powder you put in your hair. It's like it? a spray. Yeah. yeah. You spray it in. Uh, but it is kind of powdery, yeah. Yeah, why do why does anyone wash anymore? We could just get sprayed with dry soap, dry shampoo. I've lost my taste and smell, so I have no interest in washing for at least a week. You need to buy all those pens and just like use them for everything and be completely safe from from all the horror. That's that's this is how you should utilize your power. Absolutely, I love that you call it power. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll look at it as a power Definitely now. Power. I've been able to do some amazing, <laughs> amazing trumps. Have you? Yeah, not been aware yeah. of any of yeah. them during this. Well, that's, but they've all. Them, I'm guessing they're all silent trumps because. <laughs> Bron, you'd still have I your still hear- have you didn't hearing. Your hearing yeah. did you? So you can still hear the hear the trump, or are they silent but deadlies? So but yeah. It's, well, yeah. I mean, this is another question, isn't it? If you don't smell the the trump, yeah. did it really ever exist? <laughs> wow. Well, I just I didn't expect. I think we've gone into some depths in today's show that I, you know, th- th- I like to think this podcast is always educational. And I think if listeners haven't walked away from this episode with so much more knowledge than they had before, that, then I'm going to be they've, shocked because they've learned a lot of half remembered facts about Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They've yes. Talked about pants. Talked about pants. And yep. the monkeys. The monkeys. Yep. Yes. You should yep. all go and check, check out, out the the whole, all of all the, the monkeys catalog. or both, both seasons of the monkeys. Maybe on not YouTube. the 80s stuff, the 80s. Music. Don't watch. Don't watch the new monkeys, which was yeah. the reboot in the eighties. Yeah. It's not as good. Uh, you can't find clips <laughs> of that anyway. I've, I've tried. The album's pretty good. I feel like I should be on a different podcast to talk about the monkeys, though, because I could talk about the monkeys for a long time. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, I, I would say that normally this podcast is filled with chat about the about other yes. monkeys. 
sort of monkey yeah. monkeys but it's nice i think for children to be aware that there were other monkeys to the other <laughs> other monkeys so that's it's good it's all educational and, and and thank you know thank you so much for and you know i hope cc glide and banjo are very very happy with their answers i'm certainly very happy with the answers and i'm very pleased you had time to do it um have you got an exciting uh rest of your day have you got any um i'm gonna do some yeah any any inventions or anything coming up knitting i'm i'm gonna go and play that game again <laughs> <laughs> You'll find a good yeah. show this somewhere. weekend, haven't we? Online, do we have an online show this weekend uh, against Buffalo? Yeah, um, which not actual, not the beasts. No, uh, no right. actual no, animals. The uh, the team say. in in uh, New York State, Buffalo. Um, so we should plan some games for that, probably. Yeah. Um, well, but would you um do improv against a, an actual buffalo? Would you? I've, that? I've done improv with a cat. And, yeah, and what I've learned They're quite different. And what I've learned doing improv with a cat is in improv you meant to yes and you meant to say yes to an idea and add something else. But I find if you do improv with a uh, a cat, it's more no cat butt. And yeah, then they just they do like to show their just, butts. Just stick that in your face. Quite a and lot. I feel like buffalo also would be very blocky. Yeah, I feel just... that'd be. Quite demanding and... as as seen partners not particularly generous <laughs> mm. uh, scary. Yeah, makes sense makes yeah. sense well well there you Definitely go we can only we can only uh we can only imagine <laughs> <laughs> they don't share the stage well <laughs> Very selfish, very selfish creatures. Well, well, good luck, good luck with the online shows and the knitting and the going up virtual Thank mountains you. to see virtual views that would be better than real views from real mountains. Um, and and thanks again for uh, for. Thank you very much. You. He's always asleep. Oh hi there! I'm just playing some calming sounds that I found on the internet. Oh no, wait, sorry, no, sorry. It says alarming sounds. Yeah, no, I'll stop that then. Um, anyway, thanks to Bron and Sean at Comedy Sports for sort of answering CC Glide and Banjo's questions. They do sound like a band, don't they? I'd go see CC Glide and Banjo. Anyway, I hope you two enjoyed your sort of answers. And if you didn't, why not ask someone else that might know things like a sad donkey, the person in the bum shop, or celebrity chef Greg Wallace? And you can bet their answers would be more stupid and worsest, so you may as well listen to this show. If you have questions, jokes, limericks, weird noises, or anything you need to let us know, then get your groaning, whiffy, groggy heads to help you email us at podcast at comedy club for kids uk come and see us live by checking when we're near you at comedy club for kids uk find us on pop jam and if your grown-ups fancy buying us a vat of blended rock smoothie for answering all your important questions so that, you know they don't have to then they can do that at ko-fi.com forward slash comedy club for kids and so now you've heard the show uh, i guess you may as well all go to sleep right i mean what else is there to do with your day so uh, we'll, we'll just try again good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite even though they're really hungry tonight. And that one there on your bed, I mean, it's huge, isn't it? It is massive. It's probably going to nibble your whole leg off if it gets near. Have you got your weapons with you? You might need them for that one. Or just maybe here's an idea. Here's a plan. Let's work this out before it gets any nearer. Throw whatever you're playing this on to the side of your room and I'll distract it with sounds and you can escape. Oi, stinky bed bug, stupid. I bet you can't bite that. <laughs> Sorry, it hasn't. Hasn't worked again, has it? Well, look, I am exhausted from trying. So, good night, everyone. You have been listening to Comedy Club for Kids Presents. Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! Radio Nonsense! It's the end.